brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Next week, thousands of families will be out and about walking the island streets in search of tasty treats. Halloween can be the spookiest time of the year for parents who have to worry about the possible trick-or-treating dangers and hazardous costumes. Fire Lieutenant Philip Camacho says parents can make this year's holiday a safe one by following safety tips on costumes, candy, and even decorations. Number one is try to get a costume that has some reflective lighting. Um, number two, uh, costumes that are fire retardant uh, will help a lot. And number three, the, the face mask, uh, so they can s properly see where they're going, make sure it's fitted properly. And fourth one, have them carry a glow stick or a flashlight so the cars can see them. To minimize the risk of contact with candles and other fire sources, avoid costumes made with flimsy materials and outfits with big baggy sleeves or long trailing fabric. Also, with the face mask, ensure that the eye holes are big enough so your child can see clearly out. For their treat bags and sacks, they should be light colored or decorated with reflective tape. And if your child's costume requires a sword or knife or some sort of accessory, they should be made of soft, flexible material. Camacho says that members of the Fire Prevention Bureau head out to the schools and teach them about stop, drop, and roll. So if your child's costume should happen to catch fire. So, you know, stop what you're doing, drop to the ground and roll back and forth. Cover your eyes, protect your eyes and your nose and, and roll until the fire is extinguished. Looking at Halloween by the numbers nationally from 2009 to 2013, decorations were the items first ignited in an estimated average of 860 reported home structure fires per year. Nearly half of decoration fires in homes occur because decor was too close to a heat source. So if you've decked out your home or yard with festive decorations like jack-o'-lanterns, just keep in mind. Instead of candles at home, there, there are LED lights, LED lanterns, um, can get them most anywhere, just, just for safety. But if, should you use a candle, make sure it's secured properly in a stable uh, candle holder, uh, away from clutter and away from things that can burn. And Camacho wants everyone to know that the key word is safety. Always look across the street, look left, right, left, left again. Um, um, be safe, be, be um, proactive with your children, and, and children be proactive too. <laughs> Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonathan Charfres. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.